Okay. All right. So, um, so we've been working with radicals and mathematics, often mathematics likes to take big complicated things and we like to break it down, chop it up, see what we can bring together to simplify things and bring it in. So we're going to try that here. We're going to see if we can bring these things together using language and mathematics and, and I'm curious if anybody has an idea of, of, of where we might start here. <laughs> yeah. This? Yeah. When do you use this in your real life? Yeah. This problem? Yeah. Are you, wait, you're asking me when do you use this problem in your real life? Unbelievable. I don't believe this. Um, can I tell you a story? Is that okay? Can we take a break class? Can I tell you a story? Sorry, hey, that's fine. So let me tell you a story about, the, oh my God, I can't believe you asked that. So when I was in high school, about your age, I went to school in Downers Grove. And we went on a field trip to the aquarium uh, in Chicago. And uh, I was kind of a little, you know, I wasn't the most motivated kid and I tended to drag around and back, you know, tr causing trouble. And I was in the very back of the line. And we were walking down the streets of Chicago to the aquarium and I'm in the back by myself. And all of a sudden, this big arm reaches out of the alley. <coughs> grabs me by my coat and pulls me into the alley. Ah, I'm thinking I'm going to be dead. I'm going to be mugged, shot, knifed. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm thinking this is it. I'm saying my prayers. And there's this large man in front of me. There's this large man in a dark overcoat, this big hat on. Must be six foot nine, huge. And he reaches in his pocket. I'm thinking he's pulling out a gun, a knife, and he pulls out a clipboard. And on that clipboard was this problem. I kid you not, it was this problem. And then I'm standing there thinking, I'm going to die. What's happening? And this weird guy, this math problem. I'm, ah! And he takes his other hand and he reaches in his other coat pocket and he pulls out a stack of $100 bills. It must have been like this high. And now I'm thinking, what's, man, what is going on? And he looks at me and I look at him. He says, son. I said, what? He says, son. I said, don't kill me. He says, kid, calm down. I got a question for you. He said, kid, if you can solve this math problem on my clipboard. I will give you this stack of a hundred dollar bills. Huh. And, and I remembered sitting in my algebra class, just like you are. And my teacher was teaching this problem. And I remember sitting in your shoes like you and I was sitting just like this. And I said, when am I ever going to use this in my real life? And I didn't listen. And I looked at the man. I looked at his problem and I said, I don't know how to solve that problem. And he looked at me. Didn't say a word. He put that clipboard back in his pocket. He took that stack of $100 bills, put it back in his pocket, and he walked away. So why do I teach math? Well, someday, you might be walking along a street. Who knows where that man is? And his arm reaches out, and he pulls you into the alley. And when he pulls out his clipboard, and this problem is on his clipboard, you you, Courtney, can solve his problem and get his stack of $100 bills. That's why I'm teaching you this problem. That's why. So listen closely. Make sure you get it. This is big. All right. That's the end. Um, all right. Well, so that's a fun one. All right. So, so we're coming near the end here. Let me get one more soapbox here. You guys heard of the three R's, of course, of education, the new R's. What are they again? Those are the old three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. The new three R's, rigor, relevance, relationships. A little plug here, just a shameless plug. So, so we try and make math relevant. We go for that R. We try. We're often good at rigor sometimes <laughs> in math. We're often good at rigor. We try for relevance, but sometimes it's hard, right? It's hard sometimes to convince students of relevance. That's what this presentation is about. When relevance falls short, the third R has got to pick up. The third R is relationships. When we're struggling to find relevance and students don't want to do the math, if we can have that relationship, maybe they don't want to do the math for the math's sake, but they want to do it because they respect you. They have a relationship with you. They want to, to please you as a teacher, to do their best for you because you've taken the time to get to know them in a way and built some type of connection that they know you're not a random person that you care, about their, 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 you care about them, you care about how they do, that you've told them again and again that you want them to succeed, that you're willing to do whatever it takes, and if they're willing to meet you, that good things are going to happen. I think with there's an old quote I always like with this one that talks about, this is from the quote from a student that says to the teacher, I'll care about what you know when I know how much you care. And I think there's a lot of truth in that, that uh, when we can't make it relevant, how are we doing on at least relationships? You know, I think that as teachers, I mean, I think, I think in the heart of teaching, there's a lot there. I mean, we're, we're there to, to build kids up for the future, 
to, to help make informed decisions, to informed kids who are going to make good decisions. And we have a small role in being able to do that. So, um, so that brings us to the end here. Um, how are we on time? Where are we at here? We're out of time. Um, so I encourage you to do this. Yeah, so think about what we talked about today, kind of the ending challenge for you. Is just think about what kind of reasons do you talk about with your kids why we learn math. And to think about your teaching. Is the way you're teaching math at least trying to help get to that vision? At least start making steps in those ways. And it's a challenge for me as well and for us all. So Matt and I want to thank you for coming. Hope you had fun. Um, and uh, go. Teach. Sorry. You didn't yeah, 1215. Move a wall. <laughs>